morning to all of you. We are discussing photoelectric effect. Photoelectric effect is nothing but when light is incident on the metal surface, then from that metal surface, the emission of electron may take place. This process is known as photoelectric effect. Whatever the electrons which are emitted from the metal surface due to radiation of light is known as photoelectrons and due to that photoelectrons the current which will be flows that current is known as photoelectric current. Uh, in the year 1887 the scientist Hertz can discuss the photoelectric effect when a light of suitable frequency of wavelength which will be incident on the metal surface then photoelectric effect is observed. Now when uh, according to the Einstein's theory the process of photoelectric effect is basically nothing but the collision of photons with the electrons inside the metal surface when the photons which will be collides to the electrons then that electrons may absorb some amount of energy from the incident radiations and after that some amount of work may be done and finally these electrons when appears on the metal surface then it will be escaped from the metal surface. Now if we observe the Einstein's theory at that time whatever the light which will be incident on the metal surface which has the energy H nu here nu is nothing but the frequency of incident radiation and H is nothing but the Planck's constant then this amount of energy which will be acquired by the electrons from the incident light that can be utilized to do the work that work is nothing but say here E M uh, sorry it is nothing but say phi and the remaining part of that uh, incident radiation it will be comes out of the metal surface in the form of kinetic energy or we can say that here here H nu is nothing but the corresponding uh, corresponding energy of the emitted radiations and here the corresponding work done is nothing but the phi here now we can uh, see that here uh, that H nu not here then we can say that the whatever the energy that is uh, H nu not is nu not is nothing but the threshold frequency threshold frequency is nothing but the frequency of the radiation whatever the frequency which will be incident on the metal surface for that frequency the correspondingly electrons it will be emitted uh, from that metal surface that is nothing but the minimum amount of the amount of the frequency which is known as the threshold frequency here now we can write the same equation as here em is equal to em is equal to h nu minus h nu not here okay or we can write as h into nu minus nu naught now on this basis here we can uh, get the corresponding stopping potential that is e phi zero stopping potential phi zero is nothing but whatever the positive potential which will be applied to the metal surface so that no one electron can emit from the metal surface now this is nothing but the theory of photoelectric effect. 
Now we can discuss a method by which Lenard's method to determine charge to mass ratio that is E by E ampere. Now for that purpose we see a simple figure in which there is a bulb that bulb is known as here Z. This bulb has a side tube T for evacuation of this bulb B. This is say cathode. On this cathode here, through this side window, quad window W here, the light is incident on the metal surface. Due to that incident of the light, the corresponding emission of electron may take place. This elect emitted electrons, they are accelerated to the anode. This anode has a central hole. Due to that central hole, the electrons, they are accelerated. And here, finally, they are incident of a plate P1 and plate P1 is connected to a say electrometer E1. Okay. Now, due to the application of here due, due to the application of voltage here this electrons they are accelerated towards the P1 at that time here we can say that the correspondingly Phi is nothing but the accelerating voltage and that due to that accelerating voltage here the velocity of the photoelectrons which will be gained by the kinetic energy which is equal to here 1 by 2 m phi square which is equal to E into phi where E into phi is nothing but phi is a applied voltage towards the uh, accelerating in a plate A and due to that here we have observing the deflection in the electrometer. Now if we apply the magnetic field at this place and due to that here the electrons they are deflected towards P2 and P2 is connected to a electrometer E2 at that time the correspondingly whatever the force which will be applied to the moving electrons by the application of magnetic field that magnetic field is nothing but m phi square divided by r is equal to b e phi now this is say equation number one and this is nothing but equation number two by observing equation one and two but we can say that we can say that here we can say that here m phi divided by r is equal to b into e or we can say that phi is equal to b e r divided by m now you put the value of phi in equation 1 we observe that 1 by 2 m P square is nothing but B square E square divided by R square uh, sorry B square E square R square divided by M is equal to what we can write here which is equal to E into V this E it cancels with this square this M is cancels with this M that means we can say that 1 by 2 B square E R square is equal to V divided by young here okay or we can write as e by young is equal to here e by young is equal to twice phi twice phi divided by 
twice p divided by b square r square. Now, from this equation, we can say that charge to mass ratio of an electron is totally depends upon the value of phi, b, phi, b and r and hence we can calculate the value of it and it is found that the value of charge to mass ratio of the electron is calculated from this Lennard's method. Now here only the thing is that when we apply the magnetic field at that time electron is deflected and that due to that deflection it will be moved in a curved orbit and due to that here we can write the equation number 2 that is m phi square divided by r is equal to b into e into phi. Now when we equate this equation finally we come across this. Okay. जवाहर कला विज्ञान व वाणिज्य महाविद्यालय सर्व विद्यार्थी बंधु भगिनी विनंती की कोरोना पार्श्वभूमि अपने अध्ययन ऑनलाइन पद्धतिन सुरू होता है ऑनलाइन पद्धति अध्ययना अपने प्राध्यापक ने अपने विषया व्याख्याना वीडियो करून ते ई गुरुजी या चैनल वरती अपलोड करीत है तो सर्व विद्या ई गुरुजी चैनल सब्स्क्राइब करा लाइक करा